Martin Soderstrom is not only a Swedish slope style legend, his hard work and stunning career showed young riders some amazing possibilities which led other Swedes to top podium spots at the world's best slope style competitions. And nowadays, I mean, if you don't ride like two, three hours throughout the day and maybe go to the gym a couple of times a week as well, that's pretty much what you have to do now to stay in the top because otherwise there's someone else who's gonna be there and beat you. Back then, I would say that my mindset was probably stronger than it is today because I was so confident. I was like, okay, I've done this trick once. I can do it a hundred times. And now it's like my hardest tricks, I have to do them once a day to feel like, okay, I really got this trick. So it's it's just changed a lot. Uh, not only the sport have changed, but also like in my my mind. In 2013, Martin was at the top of his injury-free career when the sudden crash at Red Bull Joyride in Whistler changed it all. It was like hitting the wall, basically. It's, <laughs> I just, just felt like my whole career before that was such a like easy and success story kind of that, and then just boom, that big tib-fib break at Crankworks. And then after that, it's just been, uh, I don't know what happened if my body just realized that it's not indestructible anymore. <laughs>